noobs, geeks and everything between today we've got a video on Mac Terminal. So this video today is going to be on 12 different commands for the Mac Terminal. Um, there's 8 short ones and then 4 longer ones for you. So let's get it started. The first one is cal. Uh, this isn't a very practical command. It's literally, it just shows a calendar of the month and year you're currently in. Um, that's all that does. If you want to see a quick calendar, then there you go. Okay, so the next one we've got is clear. And this just clears the terminal screen. So if you've got a lot of cluster, it's uh, pretty useful. Next one we've got is date, which kind of fits in with calendar. It just shows you the date and time currently. It shows you the second of when you typed it in. So that's that. You then got login. With this, you can log into a different user if there's another one on the computer and run the terminal as in you if you're in their account. I haven't got one, so I'm gonna close this quick, just reopen it. So next one we've got is log name, and this will just show you the name of the person who's currently logged in. I've got mine up here in the corner anyway, but that's that for you. The sixth one we've got is nano, and this is just a simple text editor, so you can type in whatever you want. So I'm gonna type in hello. Control X, you can exit it. If you want to save it, you can, but I'm going to press no. So that's that. The next one we've got is password, and this is just a password changer. I'm not going to change one, so what I'm going to do is just type in my old password over and over again. So now we've got ping, and all you have to do is type in ping, and then we private all your public IP address. Just It's great for test testing your. Uh, Network connection. That's that's what that's, that's for. Okay, so next week we've got a long ones. So I'm going to type these up and come back to you when they're typed. Okay, so I'm back. And as you know, with nearly all Apple products, if you hold down a letter on the keyboard, then it will just bring up the access menu. Now on Windows, when you type, when you hold down a letter, it repeats this letter multiple times. Now if that's something you want on your Mac, then this is a really easy thing to do. Type in this line of code here, and then type in false. Now if you want to change this back, just type in true, and it will bring up the access menu again. So I'll just press enter. Clear that. And then, and, okay, right. Clear that, open this, I hold down A now. And it just does that multiple times. So next one we've got is room finder. If you want to show um, all hidden files, uh, Apple buys a lot of uh, irrelevant files mainly, but there's some that you may want to access. They're hidden. This is the uh, command. This is the command line you need here. Just type in this, followed by true, and then false if you want to hide them. Just press that. It's going to show them all in my finder now. Next one we've got for you today is this one here. Now, honestly, I think it's one of the most useful. Um, commands in terminal what it does is when you install uh, an application or save a file or something like that and then delete or uninstall that then it, what it, it will leave little packages and little files uh, around the place which is the clutter which you don't need and it's not useful for anything and what this will do is go through it 35 times just wiping it all so this will wipe everything that's unnecessary to keep all your data that you want um, so that's what that does and it is incredibly useful, it will free up a lot of this space. Now here where it says name of drive, this you will need to change. Mine, I've got my disk drive is called Jordan, so all I'll type here is Jordan. For you, yours may still be the default which is um, Macintosh HD. Now to do this with the space, you would type Macintosh backslash, um, here I've put all the slashes, but you would put, let me just show you here, you would put Macintosh backslash HD like that and it will find your drive okay so the final one we've got today is just the word to say and then whatever you want after it that's what it will say so my Mac has got a message for you thank you for watching please like subscribe and check out our other videos all commands will be left in the description below